one evening, Washington was walking through the um, valley, and he saw a soldier crying. And he went over to the soldier, and he said, why are you crying? Is it because it's so cold? That's a good reason to be crying. And the soldier said, no. And Washington asked him, uh, is it because you're hungry? Uh, many people are dying of hunger here. And the soldier said, no. And Washington said, well, then why are you crying? And the soldier said, well, my family, they're in Poland. I came here to fight for the American Revolution but my family's not here with me, and it's Hanukkah. And I'm looking at this little candle and remembering the fight of Judah Maccabee against the invaders of his country in ancient times, in ancient Israel. And he told the story to George Washington of Judah Maccabee with 70 men fighting off a army of I don't remember the figures, something like 5,000, 50,000 with elephants. The, the, those were kind of the tanks of those days. And, and, uh, and the Maccabees won and rededicated the temple on Hanukkah. That, that's what the candles are about. So Washington said to him, he says, well, I'm not going to take this um, story as just some kind of little history. Since you are from a nation of prophets, I'm going to take the story as a prophecy. And a few days later, Washington crossed the river in the dead of night on a boat and attacked the enemy army that was stationed on the other side.